says I can have what I want. That's what I want. That's my intention, and that's what's going to happen. <laughs> and I said, well, the secret needs to include the idea that where your rights stop is where mine begins. Yeah, the secret, a lot of people took it to mean the be-all, end-all of all knowledge about manifestation. I actually wrote a piece about that, and it's not. It's a little tiny particle of a huge universe of knowledge regarding manifestation. They did a brilliant packaging of it, and they did a brilliant distribution of it, and it helped a lot of people wake up about the subject, and a lot of people are running with it. But there's a lot of distortion about manifestation that's happened also that's going on in the public mind and heart. And that's an example of it. Uh, I want to jump a little bit to DNA and RNA. Please. String theory says that we're made of these infinitesimal little strings. But they don't have the slightest idea how to make the strings produce what they want them to produce. We can we regrow kneecaps and lenses of the eye and tips of a finger. That's what we are. We are the RNA. The DNA is the pattern. RNA keeps the pattern. And we are the keeper of the pattern. And beyond that, we have found out that DNA has a magnetic potential. And that's what we're dropping into. And a magnetic potential is like um, iron oxide tape, reel-to-reel tape, audio cassettes. Yes where they had iron oxide um, that lined up, well, your DNA has that. And that, I think, is where your reincarnation information is stored. That's where everything needs to be in alignment for you to be healthy. And we think that's what we're affecting. Because not only do we use a frequency to give people back what they need, but we give them a magnetic potential. I love that. I love what you said. Talk about that magnetic potential. Well, like the frequency, we can give you back 60 cycles per second, a note of B, but what makes that 60 cycles do what it ought to do? If you pretend that that 60 cycles per second is your speed limit, you're going, then all the rules that keep you on your side of the road is the magnetic potential that's associated with that frequency. So we have found a way to control the magnetic potential in the body to make it do what it ought to have done in the first place. And we've even done things like reverse Down syndrome. So I know this is possible. We just don't exactly know how we're making it happen. That's fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. On your site, it is written... Frequencies contained in your voice are holographic representations of your state of health. What is a holographic representation? Could you explain that to the public? Okay, a hologram, you can look at it from many different angles, and it's still there. It's not just a flat surface. um, But when you look at the voice, it's controlled by something called the recurrent laryngeal nerve. And that recurrent laryngeal nerve goes through the parasympathetic nerve bundle. That's a direct conduit to the brain for any uh, thing that's going on in the body. It's a bundle of nerves that every piece of the body, fingers every place, all the signals from the brain and to the extremities or to any place and from the pieces of the brain or pieces of the body to the brain, it's just this frequency network. And tied right next to that, inside that frequency network, is the nerves that control the vocal cords. So everything that happens to you vibrates that reincurrent laryngeal nerve, which in turn vibrates the vocal cords. So if we want to look at the body as a whole, a holographic representation, your voice is that. That's fascinating. The frequencies of the entire body, just like that Odo acoustic emission, except the voice gives you more information and gives it to you on different levels. Like we can look at the ranges where something starts. Everything in the body happens by way of frequency. Every interpretation, you hear something from um, 100 cycles per second up to 20,000. Actually, you can hear down around 20. And that the ear changes that to electrical chemical energy, sends it on that network to the brain. The brain says, ah, I received something in that range 
I'm going to interpret that as auditory input. Well, everything happens that way. What you see, what you taste, what you smell, what you think, all goes to the brain in different ranges. And we can see the range it started and go to that root cause. Is it emotions? Emotions just one octave. Is it nutritional? Is it genetic? Is it, is it magnetic? We can look at where the trouble started. We can look at the root cause because we can look at that network and look at the range of frequencies all through your voice. Your voice is a holographic representation of all that you are. Just like your signature sound that they talk about in, in the esoteric world is a frequency representation of all that you are. And we just found a way to tap into it with easy-to-use software so we can share it with everyone. Wow. This is really groundbreaking. Huge. I'm so excited. I can't wait to come to Ohio. <laughs> it's rainmaking time. <laughs> come on over. I want to hear the world say it's rainmaking time. That would put a big frequency smile on my face. I to watch kids say it and families that health and healing is on the way and happiness and togetherness and funding and research and discovery and solutions being brought to the people who need it. Math is medicine. You ask, are we really just a sophisticated math-based system? Talk about that for a couple minutes. Well, I think so, because here we are as a frequency that our whole body is run by this neural network, nerves, and every uh, impulse that runs on those nerves. So we can translate that frequency to math, and we can predict based on math. If you have a formula in your voice that says, two and two is seven, we know something's wrong. And so we put it back so two and two is four, and your body heals itself from the inside out. There is such a, a, a tremendous math-based universe here, even from the Bible. There's a book of numbers, and a lot of people, and we did too, in the beginning, based our formulations on the three, six, and nine formulas in the Bible. And then we found a better formula that goes down to the fractal levels of people's holographic body. Explain what a fractal is, please, for people. Um, boy, that's hard. By looking in a, in a mirror, 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 you know, it just keeps going smaller and smaller and smaller, infinitesimally. Um, it's the same thing in its completion, only it's just a smaller version, and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. But here's a, a, a wonderful secret. If you will take the geometry in the Maltese cross that represents the Templars who were the keepers of the health and the wisdom of the Catholic Church and the people, if you take the geometry of the Maltese cross, that's where we're getting the tremendous healing to take place. So it's been there all along. And we have the three, six, and nine. We put those triangles together. Yes. And the shadow that those three triangles throw when they're put together, and it's, it's our, um, not trademark, it's our thing you put on your stationery. What's that called? Oh, your... The icon. The... So we have used this three, six, and nine pyramid shape for years on our newsletters and letterhead. And the shadow that that creates is the Maltese cross. Somebody left that for us to find. We are speaking about geomancy right now, are we not? Uh, well, to every a... shape has a sound. Every movement has a sound. Everything has a sound. Every room has a sound. And we've just been able to figure it out that every person has a sound not just one that comes out your ear that everybody else can hear. And we, you know, we think privacy is real. Privacy is a total illusion. <laughs> no, definitely. Everybody can hear the stuff come out of your ear. when I mean, they can't hear it, but their brain picks it up. Um, your brain picks up a dog whistle where your ears don't. So the same kind of thing, that the sound comes out of your ear, an otoacoustic, I mean, everybody's picking it up. Everybody really knows. They're just too polite to confront you. So it's been here 
But in every 